in the gospel, we can hear it is one of the occasions that shows how Jesus is in communion with the Father in prayer. When Jesus is about to embark in an important activity or a proclamation, he is always presented to be praying to the Father. As followers of Jesus, we have to develop also this habit of communing with God. And most importantly, when we are about to take an important task or decision in our lives. Arnold Jansen, our founder, the founder of the SVD, of the SSPS and SSPS AP, or the Blue uh, Pink Sisters, um, he's, it is this, his habit to pray to the Holy Spirit to God before making a decision. Jesus asked two questions. The first one is a kind of a survey, an opinion of who he is according to the crowds. During the time of Jesus, the people were waiting for the Messiah and there are different groups formed according to their expectations. There were the essence, who, like the Pharisees, were strict in following the law of Moses and the Jewish rituals. There was also Zealots, who believed that the Messiah was a political leader that would liberate them from the Roman occupation. There was also the scribes, an elite political and religious group. Somehow, these groups had influenced the people. And moreover, in the mingling with people, the disciples must have heard what the people were saying about Jesus. He has done marvelous deeds, worked wonders and miracles, and understandably, people have opinions about him. They were reminded of the great prophets before, John the Baptist, Elijah, or one of the ancient prophets who has risen. Undoubtedly, the crowds saw Jesus among the greats. But Jesus was not satisfied with their answer. They were asked, but who do you say that I am? Sometimes it is easy to repeat what the others say about Jesus. But others' opinion, even if they are good, are still superficial because it is not founded on a personal relationship with him. They, were, they are mere opinion. And so Jesus wanted to extract from the, his disciples their personal knowledge of him based on their experience of being with him. It is also true with us. We have been introduced to our faith since childhood our parents taught us the knowledge of our religion in of our God through prayers and devotions. But they are not enough. Also, sometimes our idea of God or our knowledge of God is also limited and prejudiced because of our own expectations. Like the disciples, we have our idea of Jesus and we expect him to be in accord with our expectations. What we receive as fundamental truths about God, about Jesus, are very important in our spiritual growth. But we have to go beyond that by forging our own knowledge of him. Of course, guided by the church. We can grow in our knowledge of God by consciously looking at our experiences with the eyes of faith. 